Hey y'all, welcome back to Make It Dairy Free. I am Larisha and today we are going to be showing you how to turn a classic side dish into one of our favorite dinners. Before we went vegan, we used to always go to this restaurant and one of my favorite side dishes was this cheesy broccoli and rice casserole. When we moved away from the restaurant, I started making it at home and for us, it's just one of those classic comfort dishes. Now, the recipe as a side dish has been on our site for a while, but we wanted to get a little bit creative and create this into a full-on dinner for you guys. We are gonna show you guys today how to make a vegan chicken, broccoli, and cheese casserole. If you aren't a fan of vegan meat substitutes, no worries, we have some delicious plant-based substitutes for you throughout the video, so stick with us and we'll show you exactly how to whip this up quick and easy and get a filling dinner on your table. Let's go. All right, so the first thing we are going to show is prepping our rice. You can use white or brown rice and you can cut time down by using minute or microwavable rice. Or what I like to do is prep a bunch of rice one day during the week and then have already cooked rice ready for dishes later in the week like this. Then we are going to cut and cook our broccoli. Again, if you have steamable bags of frozen broccoli and want to make this go quicker, you can use that too. To make our dish go further and zero waste, we are going to be using the stems and the florets. You want a fork to pierce through it, but not be really soft as it will cook more in the oven. Next, we are going to make our cheese sauce. If you have seen our nacho cheese or mac and cheese, this is a similar concept, but slightly different. We are going to start in a skillet by sauteing some garlic and onions until soft. Then the rest of our ingredients will go into our blender. We start with some butter beans. You could use another white bean, but not chickpeas. However, butter beans give it a creamier texture than all the others. Then adding vegetable stock, dairy-free milk, we like oat milk, nutritional yeast, vegan butter, our spices, which are salt and pepper, paprika and cayenne, and then some chickpea flour. You could sub for another flour if needed, and then vegan Parmesan. We are using our homemade parm that we'll link below, and then some lemon juice squeezed right in, making sure that no seeds fall in. Then put your lid on and we are going to blend this together for a few minutes or until creamy. You are wanting the mixture to be well combined and no chunks, but you also don't want to over mix it together and be too thick. About one to two minutes depending on your blender. And oh yeah, if your husband or partner distracts you while making this and you realize you forgot to sauteed onions and garlic, go ahead and add those in now too and finish your blending. Next, we are going to use that same skillet to cook up our vegan chicken. Use your favorite one and cook it according to the package. We are seasoning the chicken with some poultry spice blend that we can link in the description. You want to just make sure that you season it in some way so that all the layers of the dish are well flavored. While we call this a vegan chicken casserole, if you aren't a fan of processed meat or maybe you don't have it on hand, you could sub the chicken out for crispy tofu, chickpeas, maybe even some mushrooms, or honestly, just leave it out and double up on the broccoli. Now, we are going to take all of our ingredients and carefully combine them well together. I'm using a large bowl here because I find that easier to combine than just inside the casserole dish. However, if you want one less dish, then you can just combine in your casserole dish you are going to be using. Besides the ingredients you saw us make, we are also adding in some vegan shredded cheese. You won't use all the cheese sauce for this recipe, so you can save that to drizzle over the top, use it when reheating, or use it for an entirely different dish like cheesy pasta later in the week. Pour it into the casserole dish, spread it out evenly, and then top it with more vegan shredded cheese, vegan Parmesan cheese, and some panko breadcrumbs. Put it into the oven and bake at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes or until warmed throughout. You can broil for a few seconds longer to get things golden brown and toasty on top. Let it sit for five minutes before cutting once it comes out of the oven. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this dinner idea. We can't wait to show you what we're making next. And if you have any requests, make sure you leave a comment below. Give this video a like and turn on those notifications so you don't miss anything. And we'll see you soon.